We are fast approaching that glorious time of night where we get this lovely light behind me right here. The sunset is just about to happen and uh, as the sun goes down, I'm gonna make my way down to the streets to see what we can find. It's not quite time yet, and you can see that it's it's still light behind me up here. But the sun's just going down, so we're just getting to that time of night where the light is, is nice, you know. So I'll have a little look around and see what I can find. See if there's any nice shots in this light before we wait for the real dark evening shots. Okay, so the guy over across the other way there is, uh, is someone who I, I like to shoot. He's got a really cool stand, and the light is really nice, so I'm gonna try and get a couple of shots now. to get a bit dark now as you can see so we're gonna head down here and take a walk if I remember right there's a woman down here who has like a smoker so I'm gonna see if I can find her that red meat looks really good I'm gonna see what I can get here Another 7-Eleven. There's always a 7-Eleven. Well, it looks like Smoker Lady's a no-show tonight, but I think we've got enough shots there to play with, so we'll go back upstairs and I'll show you how I edit them. Okay, I couldn't quite resist that last one there with the bike. It was just a gift. Let's see how that turns out when I get back upstairs. Okay, we're back upstairs. So now I wanna take you into Lightroom and show you how I quickly edit a photo from a raw image straight out of the camera into something that is in line with my style and I think pops pretty well. So let's jump on in. So this is the image that I had just now on the video that you just saw. And this is the image in the camera coming out raw without any edits whatsoever. So what are we gonna do? Well, let's do this as fast as we can. First of all, I'm gonna just slightly tweak the orientation there because it's a little bit off. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run straight down here to the RGB curve. So I'm gonna look and change the tone of all three colors and put a little S curve in there. So starting with red, we're gonna go in three different places along here and pull an S curve onto the image and bring that up slightly there. Same thing with the green. Make our three positions, create that S curve. I'm going a little bit more extreme than I normally would, but you know, whatever. Feeling a little bit crazy today, you know. <laughs> what am I talking about? I have no idea. All right, let's go a bit quicker here. So same S curve here on the blues. Pull the bottom area of the shadows down towards the yellows, but I want a bit of blue in the, the deep shadows. We're gonna lift that up a little bit. Um, right there. Okay, then we're gonna go, um, after we've completed those, all the way back up here, and I'm just gonna tweak the exposure a little bit because those curves now have altered that slightly. I'm gonna go a bit faster now. Um, again, I want to take the highlights down here because I want detail in those lamps. Take down the whites for the same reason. Take the blacks up a bit again for more detail in the shadow areas of the picture. Then we're gonna head down here and play with the hues of some of these colors. So the greens uh, and the um, 
aqua is going slightly more to the blue area of the scale. And saturation levels, uh, we need to change those as well. So I'm bringing the reds and the oranges down slightly. I'm gonna take the uh, blues down and the aqua a little bit up. And then these guys don't really matter quite so much. Now, if we head down to the very bottom of the control panel, we're gonna find more controls down here to play around our colors. I wanna take a bit more green out of the picture and move the tone slightly more towards the purples. Um, I'm gonna now boost up my um, saturation on my oranges, and I'm gonna change the tone slightly. Play around with the greens here a little bit, and again, take the blues down, because I'm gonna add some blues in in just a second. Okay, happy with this, up to the top. And then what we need to do here now is add a radial filter over the area of the photo where I want all the glow to be happening, and a bit of the street too. And then I'm basically gonna change the temperature and the exposure here, bring that to warmer tones, there we go, and again, play with the highlights till we've got everything how we want it. Now I'm gonna put a second radial filter in here and invert it, and this time I'm gonna make the outer areas of the photo go uh, colder, and this is where I bring in the blues that we've desaturated earlier, and there we go, something like that. And there we have it, just final tweak to the exposure, and we're good, and that's it, ladies and gentlemen. We have now got a photo that looks pretty punchy and pretty spectacular in my eyes. And I sort of do that same thing with any night photo that I take. If it's like a market, we've got like yellow glows, all these artificial lights going on, kind of weird, dingy, gritty streets. That's my go-to edit. It takes about five minutes. Now, obviously in real life, I'm gonna play around with this for a little bit longer, tweak all of those things and get it exactly how I want it. But that's the main bulk of the work done. And it doesn't take long. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. I hope that's something that you're into and that's helpful in some way. If it's not, it doesn't matter. You've lost nothing. Just, just go about your day, go about your business. If that was useful, there is a subscribe button. I'll be back with plenty more little videos like this, little tutorials and random little bits of nonsense. Feel free to keep visiting. Till next time. Can you believe I haven't had a coffee yet? How have I not got a coffee on this table? Wait. I collect cups. That is a stupid idea for someone who travels and lives in lots of different countries around the world because A, they're heavy, and B, they break. Even a fridge magnet. A fridge magnet would have been better, but no, I went for cups. Mammoth Cave. Classic. It's not even tea, it's just... You wouldn't know. I need a cooler way to, to start ending these videos. Hit you with the muff. If I can nail this, this is, this is, no one's gonna know. Oh, I got this, I got it. Kind of, should have bought a bigger muff.